for a major hurricane to come in this direction, and so far, it's heading this way. But what I'm gonna do is just kind of show you guys the process of what I'm getting done today. Okay guys, quick updates and a quick change in events. We now have to leave Tampa. What's up creative people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Eneka and I'm a multidisciplinary artist. It's pretty early right now. I'm about to have breakfast. I just woke up, didn't even brush my teeth, so y'all can probably smell my breath through the camera. <laughs> I'm about to have breakfast and then start my day. It is currently 8.35, so I'm hoping to change get showered and everything and get ready have breakfast and start my day by 9 30 latest today would be a slower day i'm actually under hurricane watch so yeah that should be interesting but what i'm gonna do is just kind of show you guys the process of what i'm getting done today starting a new project today it's painting on glass which is hilarious because we're under hurricane watch and I need natural sunlight because I can't use my ring light because that's gonna create a reflection on the glass so I'm trying to figure out how quickly I can work so that I can use up as much sunlight as there is right now before the storm makes its way to Tampa but yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get a few hours in. Hopefully I'll be able to get a few hours in. Okay, so it says 68% chance of rain today. So most likely it is going to rain. But I think I should have sun up until 1, 2 o'clock. So that should give me enough time to at least get 6. 50% of my painting that I want to get done today done so that's good yeah let's get started Thank you. 
Really? Okay guys, quick updates and a quick change in events. We now have to leave Tampa. Yes, we'll be in Boston tomorrow. You know you can zoom in and zoom out on the oh, lens, right? Because I think it's zoomed in a little bit too much. What are you all doing? As it's her life is speeding by actually today. I don't okay. even know how to uh, delete this. I don't know how to back it up. I don't know what is happening. Okay guys, so as you can see, we got an emergency alert for a mandatory evacuation. Throughout Florida, there's a state of emergency and there's now a mandatory evacuation. Luckily, we got a, a flight and we'll be able to safely evacuate, hopefully, tomorrow morning. But I will keep you guys updated on the events and how things go. Major hurricane to come in this direction and so far it's heading this way. You're up. All right, Rob, thanks so much. Let's check back in with ABC News meteorologist Melissa Griffin. Melissa, we got... until the uber gets here so i'm gonna try to have breakfast and everything before that and bags and everything are already packed and ready to go so yeah let's let's do this <laughs> hours early <laughs> for our flight but it's a good thing that we came early because as you can see people are like ants in this place <laughs> check the mic and make sure it sound right boys point although it doesn't show we were extremely exhausted we had been up since 4 a.m and our flight that was supposed to leave at 1 55 p.m had been delayed by over two hours 
So we actually left at, I think, a little after 4 p.m. This made me extremely nervous because flights were being cancelled and we also had another connecting flight that we needed to get to that was leaving at, I think, around 6.50 and it was going to take us a really long time to get there. But to pass the time and to calm my nerves, I decided to watch a movie. So I was actually watching, I think it's called Couples Retreats. It was super funny and it actually distracted me for a while. And by the time the movie was done, it actually looked like we had a good bit of time left for us to make our connecting flights. So that made me happy. We ended up making our connecting flight literally by one minute. We were the last aboard and actually had to check our bags. But super grateful that we were able to get on that flight and make it to New York. All right, boy. I think this will go down in history, at least my history book, as one of my longest travel times ever. Waking up at 4 a.m. in Tampa, then driving to Orlando, then from Orlando to Boston, then Boston to New York. And we got in probably around, I think, 10 or so. Like, we were settled by around 10 p.m. So you can do the math for how long that trip was. But all in all, I am just blessed and grateful that we are safe. And regardless of how long the trip was and how stressful it was, we made it. Hopefully we can make the best of this trip in New York and you guys can get some content of me exploring New York and different things here. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching this video. You already know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!